Johan, thank you firstly for sitting down with us. It's such a pleasure to get some time with you. You've been at the club since November. How has that first period been? Yeah, not the first uh, few months has been uh, has been very positive. Been uh, living over here uh, for the last few years and I've been working this league. So of course that is uh, that's a big help when you're coming into a new um, a new club and, and and the way that that everyone here have welcomed me that that has made it a quite easy um, transition. There's a great energy around the training ground, both at first team level, um, around the women's team, um, in the academy as well. We all believe that we're writing, uh, hopefully, the first paragraph in, in what would be a very successful chapter uh, for the football club. Could you just give us your assessment of the, the business in January? Really busy month for you, I imagine. Firstly, and, and very importantly, we, we arrived into the January market um, completely aligned. Um, the chairman, Ange, um, Scott and, and myself. We see every uh, transfer window as, as an opportunity to, to progress uh, and, and, and to build um, the squad in the, in the direction we want to take it. We should always aim uh, to be stronger after the window uh, um, have shut than, than, than before it opens. But, but having said that, um, to, to build a squad in an alignment with a, with a style of play and methodology that, that is not a one or two window um, job. But the club have, have taken some very important steps in, in, in the last um, six, seven months. We in particular needed to see if we could um, strengthen the squad at the centre-back position, um, especially after Sanchez uh, was sold uh, after, the, after our window shut in the summer. And similar in the, in the other end of the pitch, which would suddenly be away from, for several weeks and, and long-term injuries to, to Perisic uh, and, and Manor. And it was quite important to see if we could, could, could add a, a, an offensive player. And, and of course, very pleasing to see that we managed to get two new players um, in the building uh, quite early on. Timo Werner, what can he bring to Spurs? I think Timo, he's an offensive player who has a massive experience from, from top-level football, uh, being in the Bundesliga, the Premier League, the Champions League, and of course with the German um, national team. He's also a player uh, who, for most of his career, have played in a style not too dissimilar to ours, uh, which means that his, his level of uh, his adaptation period could be relatively short, and, and, and it's been uh, good to see him already been um, affecting games uh, quite early on. Let's talk a little about Radu Dragusin. What did you see in him that made him a good fit for Spurs? We have seen Radu being very strong defensively uh, for Genoa over, over a long period. He has the speed, he's very strong uh, one versus one, but he, he's just turned 22. Uh, he's still a very young player uh, with a lot of growth in for the future. Again, uh, he has settled in well to the club, uh, but, but there's, there is uh, much more to come for him in the, in the years to come. So whilst we're, we're speaking about young players, the day after the transfer window ends, we, we bring in Lucas Bergwald, which is such an exciting signing on his 18th birthday as well. Can you tell us a little bit about him and why this is such an exciting signing for the club? First of all, uh, we, we want to be you know, a destination uh, for the best uh, young talent out there. And that can be talent coming into our academy uh, in, the, in the foundation phase or, or later and being developed and coming through the academy. Or in this uh, case with uh, Lucas, it can be a player that, that we decide uh, to try to see if we can, can buy from, from a club abroad, and in this case, you are gone. Lucas is a very mature player, uh, despite him just turning, uh, just turned 18. Um, he's a box-to-box -box midfielder. Very good in possession, uh, been able to control the game and, and, and the same out of possession has, has a great uh, work range. And then for his age, he's, he's mature um, as, a, as a person. And on top of that, he also has a very good family and support network around him. So he has, he has a great potential. Uh, he will join in the summer and being part of the first team uh, squad. But then it's for him just to adapt uh, to, to this new environment and then take things uh, step by step. It's amazing listening to you listing the traits that you see as really important factors for signing players, but I wondered if you could give us a little bit more information on how you identify talent and how you pick them out. It's, it's very important when, you, when we are out there uh, watching and potential new players that, that they fit uh, stylistically with, with the style of play, but also with the, with the personality, the group that we want to, they want to build here. We are very fortunate uh, to have a head coach in Ange who are crystal clear in, in how he wants to play, how he wants to train, which kind of personalities he's looking for to, um, to build a squad here as well. So when the scouting team and myself are out watching players, uh, we, we know exactly what we're looking for. We are completely aligned as a club, uh, how we want to build the squad uh, over, the, over the coming years, which is hugely important. But, but this is not only about Ange or, or myself. You know, this is a, a, a club strategy. This is club 
alignment and, and Ange and I have, have been brought in, um, in, in in different roles to to execute this. Why is that so important to get the personality piece right when you're bringing in new and young exciting players? When you are coming in at, at a at, a, at an early age uh, and, and an early stage in, in your career, um, having having the right mindset, uh, having the the personality um, to, to to keep developing. Because going through come to the Premier League is, is a massive step, and, and we all know that that it will be raining day or, or two um, along the way. And, and, and in that instance, it's very important to have the personality to overcome those challenges, and, and all the time want to learn, want to improve, uh, always set. Uh, set high standards uh, f for yourself and, and for your teammates. Some new faces coming in, but also we were sad to say goodbye to a couple of players who've been here for a very long time, in Hugo Lloris and Eric Dyer. Both wonderful servants to the club, but I suppose for them important that they had a new challenge in, in their career? I think for both of those players, you know, they've been been part of a very successful team here, been part of writing some of the, the best moments in, in, in recent years, uh, which they should be very proud of. For Hugo, I think he started a new chapter together with his family in, in LA. He had a very well-deserved uh, sending off at the stadium, uh, which you know that he appreciated his family. I think the club and all the fans really appreciated uh, that opportunity to, to say goodbye to, to, to one of the greatest players in, in recent years. And, and, and the same with Eric, you know, a uh, different new challenge uh, already now at, 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 at Bayern Munich, uh, competing uh, for the German Championship. So both of them have been fantastic servants for the, for, for the club and we wish them all the best for the, for the future. And it's not just some of the, the longer serving players, we had a number of players go out on loan, which is very exciting as well. I wondered if you could give us an insight into how you go about that process. How do you work out where to send players on loan? I think when, when you are a young player and, and if you're playing in, in the academy or, or um, at 21 level, the, the step to the Premier League, especially the top end of the Premier League, is a, is a massive step. So, the, so going out on loan is a very important step uh, for most young players. And for us as a club, uh, it, it's definitely something that we have tried in this January window here to see, okay, how can we map out uh, good clubs, good environments uh, for our young players to keep progressing, keep developing, playing regular football at a good level. Uh, and I'm very pleased that that uh, after this January window here have shot, we have three players now uh, playing regularly in the championship, which we know is, uh, is the league that every year um, develops players who transitions into the Premier League. So I think that's a positive step and that's hopefully something that we'll see even more of in the, in the future. Is it exciting when you see them getting game time and seeing them develop and grow? It must be quite rewarding. We want to see young players uh, grow, uh, come into the team, come into the stadium. Uh, that's, that, that's part of it, you know, and, and, and that is something I think all of us working here, you know, we, we believe in, in young players, you know, we, we believe in, in giving young players an opportunity and, and to see them grow in a different environment, of, of course, is, is very rewarding for, for everyone at the club. We're monitoring them every week. When you're building that infrastructure of a club, it's so important that, that they are monitored on a weekly on, on a weekly basis, whether they're us going to live games and we're receiving all the information, uh, training uh, data, um, game data e each week. So they're not here physically at the moment, but they're very much part of the of the club and, and, and in our minds uh, and, and, and work every day. The younger age groups and the way our academy is playing at the moment is very, very special. How much have you enjoyed watching the, the 21s and the 18s this year? Academy director Simon Davis have, have done a have, have done a great job, but I also think Simon will be the first one to admit as well that we still have a long way to go. It has been good to see that you can say the, the overall identity, the mindset uh, of, of how we play at, at first team level is def definitely now implemented as well uh, throughout the different age groups. The development of our academies again is, is part of a club wide strategy and something that we will invest in further in, in the years to come. And we are looking together to to grow the academy to the next level over the over the coming years.